What are we going to do? All right, guys. Looks like we're in trouble here. Terry, you're checking everyone. Great. It won't take them long. We have no us. tickets. We need to get out of here. How are we gonna get out of here and be safe? There's Marx's protest. Please don't move. Um. Oh. I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. What is this? We dropped something. Why aren't we running over right away? Oh. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I, I'm so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. Oh my god. No. Sorry. I, that was a quick reaction. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. Oh my god. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. I... Come on, Alice. Oh my god. Security check. Please don't move. I feel horrible about this decision. Got your ticket? Yes. The first time was a quick reaction. The second time, okay. I'm like, oh Go god, it's now or never. Oh my god. That seriously was the worst decision I have made in this game. Regardless of the outcome. It's going to Alice didn't to approve. For a baby. Will they die because of us? We're gonna reassure. Of course not. Oh. I don't curse much on the channel, but god damn it. Oh my god. I, I can't even look back. I don't even know what else to do. trouble here too with Marcus. We're actually in trouble with everybody. Reinforce the barricade. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. All right. Let's start. Okay, with the car. Hey, help me. All right, trying to Stay focused. I don't know how it's possible you move this car in the snow.
Right, that should do it. I don't know, that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Thank you, Josh. supposed to do now? Send a message to the journalists and support your people. Oh. Check soldier's position. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. They shot into the crowd. Any of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. We're gonna reassure. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. did not mean to grab this, but that's okay. Public opinion's gone up. Okay. Jericho, up. Alright. What else can we do? Let's, uh... Place a little warmer. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference, but you never know. Any small gesture could unlock a new path. No pity for those who are different. They're the journalists. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Let's go with equality. opinion up. Jericho's also up once again. Okay, we still gotta support our people. Looks like we got a couple more guys over here. North over here. Let's go ahead and talk to her. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. It'll have to do. Let's go with uh, humans. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. Let's go, oh boy, uh, regrets. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history.
Alright. Check soldier's position. How do we do that? Oh, probably up here. Right where the soldiers are. Oh, they're moving in. They won't stop there. They're just gonna keep moving. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Marcus, come look! What's happening? Oh, you! Marcus. Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I just want to talk. We're gonna go I talk to him. What, he has to say. what if they kill you? The journalists are watching. And that's a chance I'll have to take. We want the journalists to take note that we want to solve this peacefully. And if those guys start shooting us, it's going to look bad on them. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What about... What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. That's the only reason why they're not shooting. You're the last remaining deviants. Now, why would I... Are you asking me to betray my people? Betray what I'm believing in. I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. I do not trust him. I am refusing the deal. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. Oh, okay. This is another critical decision. It's not gonna look good if I accept the deal and then they detain us anyway. What, happened, Marcus? what did he say? Either way, we're not walking out of here. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Oh! Great, and it begins. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him, or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Hank. I'm sorry, Hank. 
You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. If I Guarantee. Him, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Hank, I'm saving All right. you. All right. You've been there for me. You win. Shoot him, shoot him. What the heck kind of emotion is that? Ah, uh, here come the quick time events again. Oh. Oh. Hold it. Oh, great. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no now time to lose. Now I got to stand off. Another one. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. I don't even know who's the real Connor. Partner. The quick time events happened so quick. Shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of it. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. Oh, What's this is not going to help. The dog. Sumo! Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. Son, what's his name? Son's name is Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. Oh, boy. One of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son, too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Oh. Okay. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go wow. What you gotta do. Hank has come a long way himself. All right, here it goes. I'm gonna do it right this time. Hopefully, not another car will jump out of nowhere. Pretty frightening.
Alrighty guys, I think on that note, I'm going to actually go ahead and end the episode right here. So thank you guys very much for tuning in today for this episode of Detroit Become Human here on Gotham Lounge. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video and feel free to leave a comment down below as always. If you'd like to continue to stay in touch with us, watching future videos or videos of our past, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of the screen and you'll get a bell notification every time I upload a brand new video. So once again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of Detroit Become Human here on Gotham Lounge. And you guys have a fantastic day.